Good morning, Metro Line. Good mythical morning! And the Fed. Hey. Buenos dias, Metrolana. I'm Maddie Reitz. And I'm Drew Thomas. And we're with your WMCA newscast. As you can tell, today is Cinco de Mayo. It is. It is Cinco de Mayo. And you know what that means. Go get yourself a quesadilla from Moe's because it is the best place in the entire world. Yep. Alright, now here's some more announcements. 8th grade is going on a field trip to Carowinds on Friday the 6th. On May 13th, it's a final CU, and Kristen Beasley will be the speaker. It starts at 7.30. Um, the senior baccalaureate has been moved to Monday the 16th at 7 o'clock. The band concert is coming up on Tuesday the 17th, and it will be in the sanctuary. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Make sure you thank your teachers for all they have done. Now to Mrs. Sankowska's class for the high school devotion. Luke 1124 says, When an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I'll return to the house I left. Jesus is describing a man who has been freed from an evil spirit. Although his life is swept clean, this man does not replace the former evil with the new presence of the Holy Spirit. Instead, his heart is left empty and vulnerable to reinvasion. The evil spirit then returns with seven others, and soon the man is worse off than he was before. When God's spirit does not reside within a person, evil will surely fill the vacuum. It does no good to attempt to clean up one's life if the evil is not replaced with good. In fact, as scripture shows, the situation may grow worse. We must fill our hearts and minds with the things of the Lord so that He may have our control. Hey y'all, you seem to have had a good time at prom on Friday. If you took any pictures um, at the photo booth, there will be a link provided at the Metrolina students Instagram and Facebook page that you can go to in order to get them. If you took any pictures interacting with, you, with each other or you may have got some um, dancing, they will be located at the Metrolina students Shutterfly page. What's up guys? Our varsity baseball and tennis teams finished regular season conference undefeated. Also, our varsity baseball, varsity softball, varsity soccer, and varsity tennis teams MAC tournament games are this week. We'll try to keep you updated on our social media sites, but you can go check them out for yourself on the fields. Also, the golf conference tournament will be May 10th, and the JV and varsity cheer tryouts will be May 9th, 10th, and 11th from 3.15 to 6 p.m. in the JWAG. This Thursday is the last day for NHS Junior Civitan and Science Club meetings. Upper School Dance Recital is this Thursday night at 6.30 in the FLC. Mr. Calloway is your chapel speaker next week. Be sure to bring your Bible, a pen, and a pad because you know he likes to give extra credit. The student government applications are to be submitted online this year by next Wednesday. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Ashlock. Spring of Palooza is next Thursday. If you want a good price on your ticket, be sure to purchase them early. You can talk to the Upper School Office if you have any questions. That's all the news we have for you today. Now here's your slice of advice for the week. My slice of advice is don't request hymns at prom.